Hi, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to discuss everything you need to know about a quad helix expander. So let's get started. You may have had an orthodontist recommend a quad helix expander for you or your child, and then wondered what they were talking about. So in this video, we're going to be discussing what a quad helix expander is, how it works, and hopefully answer all other questions you may have. So first, what is a quad helix appliance? A quad helix is an appliance that is used to expand or widen out the upper teeth. There are several different types of expanders that orthodontists may use, but the quad helix has a few unique features that we'll discuss. One big advantage of a quad helix is that it doesn't require any manual adjustments by the parent or patient. Before the appliance is placed in, it is pre-expanded, and upon insertion, the orthodontist will compress the appliance and place it on the teeth. Other expander models may require manual adjustment by the parent or the patient. The quad helix makes it easier because it consistently works without patients having to worry about it or to remember to activate the appliance. Next, let's talk about what a quad helix actually does. This appliance is used to correct three different types of orthodontic problems, including a posterior crossbite, a narrow upper arch, and also crowding of the upper teeth. We'll talk about each of these problems next and how a quad helix can help. A posterior crossbite can happen when the upper teeth are too narrow compared to the lower teeth. This causes the lower jaw to be out of line with the upper jaw. In order to close all the way down, one would have to shift the jaw to either the left or the right, and having a crossbite can cause a few problems, including wearing down and damaging the teeth due to unbalanced bite, asymmetric growth of the jaw due to repeated shifting, or even jaw pain and TMJ soreness. So by expanding the upper teeth, any interferences preventing you from biting in the correct position should be removed. A quad helix can also help correct a narrow upper arch. A narrow upper arch can cause both cosmetic and functional problems. A wide smile generally looks more pleasing to the eye, but having a narrow arch can also lead to some airway problems. So individuals with a narrow upper arch generally have less room for their tongue, which can lead to the tongue sitting further back in the mouth than is natural. Having this type of restricted tongue position may lead to a more constricted airway, and this causes decreased nasal passages as you breathe. So this can lead to increased risk of snoring, sleep apnea, and poor sleep in general. A quad helix and most any other orthodontic expander widens the upper arch, creating more tongue space and avoiding the constricted airway problem. And lastly, a quad helix can help correct crowding of the teeth. So whenever crowding of the teeth occurs, there are a few different options to fix it. One option is to expand the arches to make more space. There are several methods of expanding the arches, but a quad helix is a tool that orthodontists sometimes use to assist in correcting crowding of the teeth. So you may be curious what problems can occur with the quad helix. Generally, the quad helix has very few complications or problems associated with it. But like anything else involving braces and orthodontics, a quad helix expander does take some getting used to. Expect about a week of mild discomfort where the appliance may feel bulky and uncomfortable in your mouth. Usually within a week or two, every patient adapts and has no further problems. One of the most common problems caused by a quad helix is a sore tongue. And this usually happens because while a patient is sleeping, they rest their tongue up against the appliance. But don't worry, the soreness or inflammation is usually temporary and will go away after about a week. To help reduce inflammation, we recommend rinsing with warm salt water rinses two times a day. Rinsing will help to reduce inflammation and swelling. So to make a warm salt water rinse, simply get a cup of warm water and add one half a teaspoon of salt to it. And swish the salt water around in your mouth for about 10 to 15 seconds and then spit it out. Doing these rinses twice a day will help reduce inflammation by killing bacteria in your mouth. If you let the bacteria stay, your tongue will stay inflamed and sore longer and prevent your body from adapting and getting used to the quad helix. If you'd like to see what kind of impact a quad helix can have, check out these few before and after images of a few patients who had a quad helix while in braces with Premier Orthodontics. If you think that you or your child may benefit from a quad helix expander, the next best step would be to see an orthodontist for a consultation. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we'd love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll discuss the best way to give you a straight and healthy smile and answer any other questions you may have. If you have any questions about braces or expanders, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more braces related content. Make sure to tap that bell. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.